Six on your side update tonight right now. Willie Mae White's trash, we're glad to tell you, has now been picked up. You may remember last night our Tristan Rupert introduced you to Miss White. Her trash hadn't been picked up in weeks. There were maggots like this infesting the bins. We helped her file a complaint with Jefferson County, and they came out this afternoon, we're glad to tell you, and picked up all that trash. In Pinson today, our cameras rolling a few hours ago when Amway's crews were picking up that trash after a man on Strickland Road told us his garbage was missed for the second time in a couple of months. So our reporter Bria Chapman live tonight talking with that man who says he wants more done to fix this problem, Bria. Yeah, that's right, Jonathan. David Love says he was happy to see his trash picked up today, but he says he wants the credit for what he calls late, late service and issues with customer service. Now, David Love says that this is the second time in the last couple of months that trash has not gotten picked up in his area, but he says payments to Amway's never change. He says homeowners are still being charged full price despite late or sometimes no pickup. Now, Love says it's not just an issue on his street, but for his entire area. And for a family of five like his, he says getting the trash out of his house is a big deal. I, I am. Um, I mean, as you can see, both of these cans are full. I, I live with a family of five, so trash is constantly coming out of this house. And, uh, you know, I mean, I understand, you know, we don't live in the best of areas, but, you know, we're not the kind of people. We don't want trash just piled up by our house and on the end of our road. So, you know, at least for success for this week. Now we did reach out to Amways, but so far we have not heard back. We did ask though that Love Trash was, we do want to acknowledge that his trash was picked up though after our email. Now if you live in Jefferson County, there is a way for you to contact them through the app. And I'll tell you how in this story on our WBRC News app. Reporting live in Birmingham, I'm Bria Chapman, WBRC, Fox 6 News on your side.